In today's episode, we are going to be discussing importing functions. Last episode, we discussed what functions are and how to use them. And while next episode we're going to be looking at how to write our own functions, before that we should discuss how to import functions. Imagine you are trying to build a house. Sure, you could grow your own trees, chop down your own wood, make your own tools and nails, and build it up from scratch. But why do that when you can buy these materials that others have already made ready for you? Importing functions is similar to this. Importing functions means gaining access to libraries of functions that other people have already made for you. This is just as useful as it sounds. There are so many functions that are super useful for any given program that it would take you forever to write them all yourself. Luckily, other people have already done most of this for you. In each programming language, you are able to use an import statement to import libraries of functions into your program that you can use as you write it. A library is simply a collection of functions that all have the same theme. It may be a math library, an input library, or anything really. There are such a variety of libraries for any given language that most functions you require that are not hyper-specific to your program can likely be found in some library online. So what is the syntax we use for importing these libraries? Well, it's quite simple, an import statement. In most languages, this simply consists of the word import followed by the library you would like to import. Imagine you are using the Java Util library. You would write java.util.asterisk to import all classes within the util package. However, it can be beneficial to be more specific and only import the classes you would like. For instance, in Python, the syntax to import a library is import library. However, importing an entire library is more computationally taxing than importing specific functions from a library. Imagine you would only be using the factorial function from the Python math library. It would be a waste of computing power to import the entire library and would increase the load time for your program. For smaller programs, this isn't a big deal, but it really starts to add up when dealing with larger projects. Therefore, you would instead use from math import factorial and now have access to that one math command only. This limits the functions that you can use. However, it saves programming load time. If you decide to use another function that you hadn't planned for, you can always import that too. If you're wondering what libraries to import, think of the functions you need. Perform a simple Google search, and you will probably run into the correct answer. But what if you can't find a library that contains the functions you're looking for? Well, then you're going to have to write it yourself. But we will be covering that next video. That's all for now. If you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing and leave a like. If you haven't seen the rest of the videos in the series, check out the playlist to the right. Thank you for watching.